Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan Sprinkle and I'm the Principal Investigator of the Cat Vehicle Project. I want to do a quick tutorial today to show you how to compile the new version of our release, uh, which is version 2. So this is a little bit different and I've, uh, from what we've done before. So I'm here on the Cyber Physical Systems Virtual Organization webpage and you can see here that we're on the Cat Vehicle Testbed page. And I'm looking under uh, the tutorials, so if we find here, Get Started uh, most of the stuff that you're going to want to do, you'll migrate to cps-vo.org, navigate to cps-vo.org, group cat vehicle testbed. So here on the get started page, we can see that we've already done all the installation. So I have a version of Ubuntu that I'm running and I've installed ROS uh, Indigo on that version. And now under the tutorials, I'm just going to do the very first one. So the first tutorial that we'd like to do is to compile the release. So we're going to go ahead and create a workspace. Might be able to show these both at the same time. So I'm here in my home directory. Make directory and dash p means that I want to make all the directories if they don't exist yet. So cat vehicle workspace source. So this is going to create the cat vehicle workspace directory as well as the source directory inside. And next catkin init workspace. So this is going to build um, a little bit of information in here that ROS needs to do its compile through CMake. So it created this CMake lists.txt file, which will then um, look into all the directories that I put in here to make sure that it compiles everything that's included as subdirectories. So now I'm ready to download and extract the files we need from the simulator. You can download the cat vehicle packages from here, or what I prefer you to do is to grab them from Git. So let's say git clone from github.com, springjm, cat vehicle.git. So this will download all of the cat vehicle source code, and then also git clone github. Dot com springjm obstacle stopper dot get. So these are two packages that we need in order to run some of the tutorials. And if I look in this directory, you can now see that we downloaded the cat vehicle as well as obstacle stopper. And those are bona fide Git repositories now on the inside. So going up one directory, I then type cat can make, and it's going to build all of the uh, source code that we found in there. The obstacle stopper generated uh, code is actually generated from a Simulink model. And so because we've done that, it's going to, to call all of these commands and we see some warnings here from the, the generated code. Uh, in, in addition, what this does is that it allows, um, it creates not just, we had a source directory that we created by hand, but we've got now a devel directory and a build directory which contains that generated code. In the next tutorial, I want to show you how we can run the cat vehicle simulator, and uh, we're going to take advantage of the code that we just downloaded and ran in order to do that.